I'm uh, Miha Ronovic, I'm the product manager of Grid Engine and I work in Sun Microsystems. My name is Fritz Versnell and I'm the director of the Grid Engine product team. So, uh, I'm going to talk today with Fritz uh, about uh, grid computing. So, Fritz, can you explain us what grid computing is? There are many opinions and definitions going on in the market. I want to know your take on it. But Miha, you're exactly right. Grid computing is actually an overloaded uh, term. Um, applications of the term grid can be found uh, in many areas, for instance, uh, generic dynamic service uh, grids, uh, globally connected resource pools, or uh, enterprise or departmental computing grids. So but what counts in the end, however, is uh, what customers are actually do with grids. And in all those cases, uh, what grids do for them is boosting productivity, maximizing resource utilization, and simplifying access to needed computing infrastructure. So basically, grid computing is helping the customers to solve their problem faster. Is that what you say? Absolutely. Uh, grids mainly do two things for you. So on the one hand, they are making sure that all available resources are utilized in accordance to priorities and workload requirements. And they also provide access to those resources transparently. So users can actually stay focused on their core task and do not have to hunt for resources. You know, some people say this grid computing is only for universities and research and government. I think there are other interested parties to that, but the interest of customers. Can you tell us? Cor correct me. Yeah. Actually, uh, uh, grid computing has become a very mainstream technology. I always refer to it as the conveyor belt of uh, modern engineering development and decision support. Um, it has very widespread applications in areas as diverse as uh, designing cars, airplanes, computers, chips, new drugs, in exploring oil and gas fields uh, or the human genome, or in predicting climate changes and risk associated with uh, financial investments. I think I understand what grid computing is, but about our product grid engine, what role does it play in grid computing? A grid engine is a very mature compute grid product that brings customers the power of grid computing without having to build a custom infrastructure. A grid engine features a strong scheduler uh, which has policy based controls, it is highly scalable, it is very flexible and easy to use, and it supports a broad range of platforms. Yeah. Instead of just uh, looking at a list of characteristics uh, for Grid Engine, why not uh, uh, take a peek at the uh, visualization of how Grid Engine actually works? So here you have a pool of resources on the right button, and uh, uh, users are submitting jobs manually into it. But obviously, there is some effort involved in finding suitable resources. Um, it is easy to make mistakes and thereby causing overloading of resources. And uh, there is manual intervention needed in order to uh, uh, make sure the load is well balanced. Um, so in, in the case like displayed here, where you actually have people leaving uh, during the night time uh, and resources are unattended, what happens is typically that you end up overloading certain resources while other resources become completely idle, uh, which is why you end up with pure utilization rates of uh, anywhere in between 10 or 25 percent as we could observe in uh, uh, practice. Now let's see how that looks if we were to uh, employ a system like Grid Engine. Uh, jobs are submitted by users at the bottom into the Grid Engine system. They are spooled there and there is a master control unit in Grid Engine that monitors availability and suitability of server resources. It also dispatches the jobs uh, to the best suited resources based on priorities and other policies. So what you get automatically is uh, a high utilization of resources. What you can do also here is uh, you can add a resource, like I'm doing it now, and Grid Engine will automatically recognize that new resource and will send jobs to it. All this is uh, happening transparent to the user, so the user doesn't have to uh, uh, look out for resources themselves, which automatically uh, drives up their productivity. We already uh, see that the CPU utilization is much increased here and that uh, job results are delivered faster. So that translates easily into time to market benefits for customers. So um, now let's look at as next as a more, at a more challenging example, uh, an enterprise grid environment. 
So what we have here is uh, uh, two departments, each of them owning their own pool of resources. Um, and obviously they both, uh, in this case, would be running Grid Engine and they both would benefit uh, from what we have said before. Um, but over time there could be varying workload. So for instance, one of the teams could be approaching crunch time uh, for an important project, whereas in the other team people could be on vacation and thus there could be resources idle on their end. Uh, it would certainly be nice if you could take advantage of such idle resources for the high priority project. And that's exactly what uh, uh, the grid engine policy module allows you to do. So let's look at how that would be uh, implemented. So what you do there is you combine the uh, two resource pools into one shared uh, pool of resources and uh, uh, the ownership of those resources is defined by uh, share entitlements. Uh, those are uh, uh, depicted here uh, at the lower bottom by the scale where 25% of the resources are assigned to team number A and 75% are assigned to team number B. And of course you can also see at the very bottom uh, that on average more jobs are processed for uh, team A uh, than for Team B. Um, once again, that is completely automatic. Uh, users do not have to take care about it. And uh, it also can be changed anytime. So, like I'm doing it here, I'm moving this slider uh, for Team A from 25% up to over 80%. And Grid Engine will recognize that immediately and will start sending more jobs from Team A into the share pool of resources. Like in the previous case, you could also add resources and Grid Engine would recognize that automatically. And like in the previous case, uh, the uh, users are completely uh, unaware of what's going on there. They just notice that uh, um, their policy entitlements are being met. Sounds great, but uh, can you use some actual example, typical cases where Grid Engine is used? Yeah, let me uh, take the example of Mentor Graphics, which is a uh, software vendor uh, for the uh, electronic design and uh, automation industry, that is chip design industry. Uh, they are, for instance, uh, doing all their verifications and tests of their software uh, with Grid Engine, but at the same time also do chip designs, which, which they do custom made for uh, customers uh, with, uh, on the on basis of Grid Engine. Then, for instance, a large uh, European car manufacturers, uh, a car manufacturer who is doing all the crash simulations uh, for their cars uh, on top of Grid Engine, or take, for example, uh, Rising Sun Pictures, uh, a Australian uh, virtual effects company that involved, was involved in uh, many major blockbuster uh, movies such as Charlotte's Web or uh, Lord of the Rings or mm -hmm. Superman Begins. It seems we are quite popular nowadays. Uh... How popular is Grid Engine today? In grid Engine has over 10,000 uh, grids in production today. Uh, uh, if you look at the broad range of customers ranging from companies like Mentor Graphics to Ford to Eli Lilly uh, to Motorola, um, you can see um, uh, the kind of adoption that we're getting. And uh, all those customers increase their utilization and uh, their time to market. With so you say increase utilization. Does it mean people are not using the computers uh, completely today? Absolutely correct. An average uh, utilization that you see in industry is some, something in the area of 10 to 15 percent of a server system and the uh, grid engine can help you drive that up. If you want to protect your investment because you bought the engine, but if you also have an open source uh, project based on our product, uh, can you comment on that? Yeah, actually uh, grid engine is uh, open source. The Grid Engine Open Source Project is the source basis for the Grid Engine product. Um, the uh, source is completely open. Uh, the license is an accepted uh, open source license. Um, we have a very strong community, and uh, the community actually has developed an ecosystem around Grid Engine, integrating it with a number of uh, uh, solutions in that space. Well, I've heard there are about a million lines of code over there in open source. Yeah, roughly, that's true. Okay. So, our customers, where can they go to get a bit more information? Yeah, I would recommend as a start to go to sun.com slash gridpair. That's an entry point. Thank you very much, Chris. It's been very educational. And thanks for having me.